Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. This is your girl Empress Gem here to drop these jewels for the sign of Scorpio. This will be your energy healing weekly read for the week of April 5th to April 11th, 2020. Keep in mind these messages may not resonate, so take what's for you. Another side note, you might have just heard the loud noise in the background because yes, I have kids and I still curse. Either of those bother you, just click off. So with further ado, Scorpio, let's get into you. Okay, <clears throat> so Scorpio, I'm just going to get into your read because honestly, yeah, we're just going to get into your read. So first message off the top is take a shot, get in your heart, it misses you. And yes, this is about a love situation more or less or just something of the past that you are holding near and dear to your heart that I feel is not a good situation. It was never good for you. I feel like you keep putting yourself through this. There is... You want some signs? I got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have my Pisces out here. Okay, I've seen five out of the seven chakras. So I really feel like you need to balance out your chakras. You're not in alignment with yourself right now. And I feel like this is why you keep going through this, this cycle, this circle right here. Okay, um, this is a pretty major thing I see going on for you here. Yeah, more than half of the cards are major arcana or chakra cards. So this is extremely major. The only other person I felt had a pretty major read, I think, was Sag. <clears throat> but you have a pretty intense reading going on right now, Scorpio. Like, literally, I just, like, my head is spinning. I just feel like, da -na 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 da 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 welcome to the Twilight Zone. Like, literally, and that's what I'm calling you guys reading. Like, I felt that off the rip. And... I mean, what? So I see that you're trying to move on. OK, mentally, you're trying to move on from a situation here. But I see that you're having mental conflict and defeat when it comes to this. I see that you have a new opportunity here in the middle for love to begin or for something to rekindle your heart space. OK. Let's get out this. Let's clarify this up here. Yeah, it's a new relationship here, a new bond, something that is a lot more stable for you. I feel like you've manifested this thoroughly into your life and now the world is presented it to you after you have closed out another relationship. I feel like, you know, you close out that relationship because there was some deception and envy going on and you knew about it. So you walked away from the situation. We'll take those right there. Yeah, you knew there was some deception. You knew that this person was going behind your back and sending out passionate sexual messages to someone else. And you got tired of investing in that because you've seen it wasn't going nowhere. Definitely, they could have been dealing with a child's mother or something. Or the fact that, you know, you could see that you want a new beginning to be abundant and be happy. And you're tired of being in this mental conflict and feeling at a loss. So you know that you need to end the situation because you know your person was secretly sending passionate messages behind you. They were investing in that situation instead of worrying and investing about you guys. And you know that. So I feel like the universe said, hey, what you going to do? That shit stuck up in the air, and I feel like they left it stuck to you. And they said, so, Scorpio, what are you going to do? And I wonder, what, what did you say, Scorpio, when they hand you this? What, what was your response when the universe told you it's time for you to sacrifice? You said you want to keep working on it. You got a new spark. That's what you're deciding to do. You think something better is going to come in. You stay stuck in this energy because you kept trying to work with a situation because you wanted to see Ten of Pentacles come out of it. But you've been investing in a situation. While you're busy investing in this and not reaping anything, they're secretly sending messages behind your back. That was a deception you knew about all along. That's why you went after this new love. That's why you manifested something new in your life. The universe put you in a stop situation because it seems like you have this new love, but then you still have this past situation that you're still kind of dealing with, which I don't know why you're dealing with it, but you're deciding to work with it, at least in a financial time. I don't even see that you like emotionally care for this situation, but I feel like you've invested some time, probably 12 years, three years, 12 years, definitely seeing the 12. But you invested time into the situation. I feel like you don't want to walk away from it now. 
Yeah, but Scorpio, you're underneath here. It's time for you to cut that shit away. You need to transform it in that shit. They put the ball in your court so that you can figure out what to do. But yeah, I feel that um, they left it in your court. The universe left it in your court to decide what to do. And I feel like you decided to try to work with it. You felt like something new could come. And now you're sitting here mentally conflicted because you don't know what the hell is going on. You don't know what the hell happened. You were moving on, but I feel like you were one foot in, one foot out, and you should have just went through with your full action. Like, you had the idea already. You were manifesting these things in the past. I don't know why. Yeah. All you did was bring more conflict into the situation. Like, you should really should have decided to just block the situation completely out once you realized that there was deception going on. You shouldn't have stayed here. That's why you're feeling like it's a twilight zone, because you're allowing it to come back into your life. You keep going back and messing with it and expecting, what? how the saying go? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome? you driving yourself insane with this. Like, you truly are. You need to be assertive and learn how to move forward and cut through the bullshit. See that the thing... It's over. See that it brings you nothing. There's no emotional growth there. There's nothing but lack and sadness. You're moving towards trying to be solid and, you know, grounded and everything. But again, I feel like you need to be more in alignment of how you're pursuing things, what you feel are best actions to take. Because you thought in the past that it was best action to keep focusing on this past situation as well. But no, all it did was bring in actual competition and conflict into your life, like physical type conflict into your relationships. You're damn near about to lose this Ace of Cups, but I feel like because you've manifested so much and I feel like this person sees you as someone stable too, they're trying to give you a chance here. But you really need to learn to block that old relationship because you're putting yourself in a twilight zone. I feel like this isn't your first Ace of Cups that you've had after this last relationship. I feel that you are, that, you know, you would get something new, but you go back and you mess with the old and you mess up the new. I feel like this new person who's here now is trying to give you a chance. You need to clear this mental energy that you got going on, this mental connection, the space that you got with this person. Yes, you need to start, you need to apologize. Apologize to yourself so that you can move forward clearly. You need to really, really work on that, like work on that hard. Yeah, work on this change. If you want Ten of Pentacles, you really need to work on changing. You're sitting here trying to juggle this dynamic and trying to figure out what's best for you. You need to get grounded, make better actions and decisions for yourself. Start li like you, you really do. You just re you got to start listening to your gut. Like all your next following cards is all about the rest of your chakra energy. You need to get in alignment with yourself because I see some shit coming to shake you the fuck up at the end. Right now, I feel like you need to open up your third eye. You need to pay attention to what the hell is going on. I'm not sure if you're in third eye type energy because again you're conflicted and feeling mentally defeated about it so obviously your third eye can't be that damn open because you can't see that you just really need to release this and keep moving forward because that is your goal that's what you've been manifesting new love and moving forward yeah you trying to reconcile with something that you've put an end to and that's why you keep having this defeat you're not seeing clearly what you're doing everybody else sees that what you're trying to go back to does not serve you. But apparently you're not seeing that. I need you to see that. Yeah, they're seeing that it's a burden in your life. They're all seeing that it's a burden and that you deserve to be happy. But you're going back and forth with your happiness. You're giving into a low vibing negative situation. Everybody sees that you don't need to. The hope here is that you do follow your intuition. Follow your intuition so that you can bring balances back into your life here. Let this tower moment come in. That is your outcome because it's going to bring you success. You're really going to find your strength after this disruption hits you. I'm telling you that right now. But you need to follow your intuition so that you can bring back this balance into your life and have this victory of moving forward. This disruption that's coming in is truth and clarity as to why you've been holding back from going after your new opportunity. You're going to see why you're feeling out of lack when this tower moment comes into your life. It's going to help you figure out what you need to do correctly and for yourself morally. You're going to be able to value yourself and see yourself in a higher sense <clears throat> okay but this time moment i'm gonna let you know now it's not gonna be anything easy that's about to come towards you because it says fuck shit is about to get real fuck 
you need your people around. Like I said, I don't think that this is going to be a very light tower moment. I feel like some truths are going to be spoken that's probably going to hurt you to the core. But in the same breath, I feel like there are truths that needs to be spoken. So you need to drop the fucking eagle because vulnerability is hot as fuck. Yeah, when the truth come in, don't try to fight it. This is what you need to hear. You do you after that. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. And then go off and detox. Drink a smoothie. Unfriend that asshole and throw some shit out. You need to continue to move on like you're doing. You're only in this mental conflict because you are putting yourself there. Let the past be the past. You're messing up all your future opportunities. So with that saying, you have the power. Go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. You don't need this past person to do anything for you because people in the future are looking at you as if you're the star, as if you're the one. You are the ace of pinnacle. So you need to continue to treat yourself that way and be that way. Do you. Take care of you. Okay? Let this past person go. So, Scorpio, that's what I got for you guys. If you enjoyed your message for this week, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is uploaded. Until then, I'll talk to you guys on Wednesday for the mid-collective reading. See y'all later. Peace.